In this video, I have brought the solution of two set of important questions grade 12 for board exam 2078. Hi, I'm Sanjeev and you all are welcome to my channel. Let's start with if there is one thing which is from the unit attitude and reaction. Look at this example. You can see some children making noise in the class and I can say, People who make noise in the class annoy me, or I hate people who make noise in the class. In exam, you get the question, rewrite the following sentence using if there is one thing. So how do we write these two statements using if there is one thing? Look at the structures. We use the first structure for this first sentence and we use the second structure for the second statement. That means whenever you see the question, always look for the word me or I. It's like a trick. So if you see me, okay, so you use the frost structure. Uh, whenever me is used, you, there is always a verb. For example, in this case, you have annoy me. So instead of saying annoy me, okay, you can say if there is one thing that annoys me, it's people who make noise in the class. In second sentence, you don't have me, you have I. After I, you have a verb. You copy the verb as it is. So if there is one thing that I hate or that I like or that I dislike, depending on the question, it's people who and whatever it is given, you just copy that. One thing for you important to consider is in front of people, it is always it's, you know. It's like it's people, it's people. You never forget this. So always put that word, it's apostrophe S, it's people, and your answer is done. Okay, so... Uh, that's how we do. Now, let's see the exercises. People who smoke in restaurants annoy me. So you have the word annoy me at the end. Okay, so you have the word me. That's kind of really first structure. So use the first structure. And the answer is, if there is one thing that annoys me, it's people who smoke in restaurants. So you see, in front of people, you are using it's. That's very simple. Annoy me, annoys me. Okay, number two. We have upset me at the end, you can see. So it's like upsets me in front of people. Again, it's so if there is one thing that upsets me, it's people who are cruel to animals. Likewise, number three, people who break promises make me angry. So again, you have the word me. So copy the same thing in front of me. You have the word make. So just add as there and say, if there is one thing that makes me angry, it's people who break promises, right? No one likes the people who break promises, you know? Likewise, number four, I hate people who smoke in restaurants. If you remember question number one, two, three, you had me, 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 but from question number four onwards, you have I. So this time you are not going to use the frosty structure, you will use the second structure. And as for the second structure, when we rewrite these sentences, it is like, if there is one thing that I hate, it's people who smoke in restaurants, okay? Likewise, I detest people who interrupt when I'm speaking, right? Nobody likes being interrupted. So you can say again, if there is one thing that I detest, it's people who interrupt when I'm speaking. And finally, the last question is, ring, ring. You can see the call. Uh, nobody likes to get the call early in the morning. Early in the morning is the time that you are in bed, you love sleeping, right? So I loathe is like, I hate to live to a high degree. I loathe people who ring me up early in the morning. So if there is one thing that I loathe, it's people who ring me up early in the morning. So it brings us to the end of the first set of question. Next question, which I would like to uh, discuss is the question from prediction. It is another unit which is frequently asked in examination. There is already an elaborated video on this. I have given the link above. You can click it and you can see the video. And I'm going to talk about predictions in short here. So prediction can be divided into two types, you know, prediction with probability and prediction with certainty. How do we differentiate uh, which one is prediction with probability and which one is the prediction with certainty? Look for the signal words. Just say maybe, perhaps, probably, will I expect a word dekhnubayobane? Your prediction with probability, boy. But on the other hand, like see the example. Perhaps he will come tomorrow. He probably won't come soon. In red color, you can see the signal word. It is prediction with probability. But on the other hand, if you see the signal words, 
surely, definitely, certainly, I am sure. Uh, these words indicate it is prediction with certainty. If we see the example in red color, definitely I am sure is given. But it is prediction with certainty. So look for the signal word. This is very, very important. Now, what about the structure of exam? When you see the signal word, perhaps, 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 maybe, probably, will I expect likely to when I use goodness. Use likely to. Remember, likely to, likely to, likely to. And likely to go negative is unlikely to. Sentence ma when you see I doubt if banavane, I doubt if makes the sentence negative. Remember what I said. Therefore, use unlikely to. Okay, very simple. I doubt if on it it is unlikely to. And this is the most important structure for you. Subject and is MR launos, likely to launos, Babuan launos. An example ma we'll see it later. Whereas uh, in the signal words like surely, certainly, definitely, I am sure, use certain to, sure to, or bound to. Okay, uh, see the example. Surely, I have any sure to like the nose, definitely bound to, certainly, I have any certain to. And green, my the structure also like just the subject is MR. Surely, I have any sure to like the nose, certainly, I have any certain to, definitely, I have any bound to plus Bhagwan. I'm a bosom bunny kuraki when a though it is prediction. In this unit, we do not use future tense, okay? Though prediction, baniko, you are talking about future, you are making claim about future. Tar testo bai kana bani, answer chai me present tense malik so. It's kind of three words are very important. Is, am, are. Subject pa you must put is, am, are. Bani probability you bani likely to. Bani with the certainty cha bani show to, certain to, bound to. Yo bani aki, let's see the example. Uh, question, yes, this is these are the questions, okay? Change the following sentences using sure to, bound to, likely to, and unlikely to. The price of petrol will definitely go up within a few weeks. Your word ma, uh, the uh, signal word is definitely, right? Will definitely. signal word Remove the signal word, will definitely. Your subject is price of petrol. With price of petrol, is MR, which one you take? Is very good. Other thing remains the same. Definitely, I am bound to replace your data. The price of petrol is bound to go up within a few weeks. So, I am like, you, we remove, will definitely. Okay. So, just let me remove it. Okay. Yes, that's what you did. Likewise, number two, there will be more, there will probably be more fighting in the capital. So, this is your signal word, will probably. You probably did some someone did likely to ILO. So there is likely to be more fighting in the capital. Number three, he probably won't arrive. Then there in it is probably but negative, won't. So likely go negative get you, unlikely to you. He's on a kill also, is MR. So he is unlikely to arrive. Very simple. Number four, I expect there will be lots of people at the meeting. I expect you to be a signal word. I expect like the house of an expect gorno. If you expect something to happen, if you hope something to happen, there is only a probability, you know, it's a signal word uh, suggesting probability. It's kind of likely to loan us, or will I replace the nose? Lots of people in Japan, lots of people which you notice it is plural, so therefore, there pasi are loan us. Okay, so there are likely to be lots of people at the meeting. Number next, I doubt if the miners will go on strike. I doubt makes this statement negative. Will matra have any probability buzonsa? I already told you. I doubt makes this statement negative. So remove I doubt if, and the answer is the miners are unlikely to go on a strike. Number six, there probably be won't be much snow this winter. So it's very simple. Probability negative I unlikely to. So there is unlikely to be much snow this winter. Number seven, there will definitely be a few tickets left. Remove will definitely will definitely make this statement, you know, will definitely make this statement prediction with certainty. So you can, you'd flesh definitely with bound to, there are bound to be a few tickets left. I doubt if the if they will move this summer, remove I doubt, negative by allo, will matra on with the probability in Zabane, and if probability to negative, likely to go negative, unlikely to. So they are unlikely to move this summer. Okay, number nine, I'm sure a new chairman will be appointed soon. I'm sure the big signal word go remove it. Will our town was signal word. It signals 
prediction with certainty so answer is a new chairman is sure to be appointed soon and last question is the government probably won't make the wearing of seat belts compulsory so probably won't or i didn't wala signal word boy or to some signal word like probably won't make this statement negative so probably won't could hama ami unlikely to act so government sang is amar ma ke rakh so very good i mean we use is the government is unlikely to make the wearing of seat belts compulsory so in other videos too i'll be bringing important questions for grade 12 well board examinations i hope you not only understood today's chapter but also you enjoyed watching it thanks for watching